Welcome to JAMA's world of modern test management. In the next few minutes, we'll introduce you to how JAMA manages testing. First, let's make sure we're speaking the same language. These are common terms, but they might mean something different in your organization. In JAMA, we call the set of steps you take to see if something works a test case. They are then grouped into a test plan, along with information like the list of testers and the testing environment. You then execute runs of test cases to validate things are working. When you complete a set of test runs, you've completed a test cycle. And of course, if a test fails, it identifies a defect. Test coverage shows how this testing connects back to requirements, so you can verify that you are building exactly what you plan to build. To get started, we'll create a new test case. In the place where we want the test case to live, we add test case, then enter a name and a description. We can then add steps to the test case and save it. We can do the same for other test cases, or we can import them. Now that we have some test cases, we can put them into a test plan. Click the Test Plan tab to begin, then Add Test Plan. Give it a name and fill in the details. After we save and close, we can add test cases to the plan by dragging and dropping. So each test plan includes the overview and test cases, and a place where we create the cycles and runs of the test. To add the first test cycle, go to the Test Runs section and click Add First Test Cycle. Put in the required information, then click Next. You can select which test groups to include before the cycle builds if necessary. To add subsequent test cycles, select Cycle, Add Cycle. When you click Next, you can choose which test cases to include. Here, we'll exclude test cases that have already passed. Now we're ready to start testing. Go to the test runs part of the plan and click the play button next to the test run you're working on. Click start test run. Mark the status of each step as you complete it. When you finish, the test run passes if all of the steps pass. If any step fails, the test run fails, or you can mark it pass with errors if it's just a minor issue. If you can't complete all of the steps, mark the test blocked. If during the test, you find a defect, you can log a defect from the test run. Doing this automatically provides traceability to the test run and test case where you found the problem. When you finish a test run, save and close it to update the test cycle. As you complete your testing, you can keep track of it in lots of different ways. The Coverage Explorer allows you to trace defects all the way back up to the epic or requirement and shows that all of the requirements are verified by testing. Reports like the Test Plan Summary and Test Plan Detail also show the status and progress of your testing. Now you know enough to start using JAMA to manage and document testing. If you want to know more before you start breaking stuff though, check the other available resources.